Oh, still a developing story, which we'll, we'll be talking about much later. But let's take you uh, to Bochi. And this is also staying with the judiciary. The Abuja Division of the Federal High Court yesterday granted the request by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to freeze a commercial bank account belonging to the Bochi state government, valued at 11.5 billion naira, pending investigations on the matter. Now, Justice Taiwo Taiwo, who is sitting as a vacation judge, granted the motion ex parte after listening to the EFCC counsel, Mr. Bubakar Liu. Mr. Liu had told the court that between May the 24th and 28th, the commission received an intelligence that the then administration of Bochi State initiated a process of withdrawing uh, to launder the sum of 19.8 billion naira worth of property belonging to the state government. He adds that the actual amount in the said bank account is 11.5 billion naira, which was paid to the Bochi state government by the federal government via the central bank. The FCC told the court that freezing the said bank account and funds will greatly assist applicants to get to the root of the matter and conclude its investigation on time. The matter was adjourned to September the 3rd, 2019. Well, let's hear from the state governor, the reaction of the government of Bochi State and the next step for their action. I've been joined uh, from Saudi Arabia by the media advisor to the Bochi State governor, Mr. Laden Saleh, who would like to thank you for joining us at this time. Thank you so very much. <clears throat> All right. Pray tell, has the court informed you of the freezing of uh, that account belonging to the Bochi State government? And what are your immediate reactions to that? <clears throat> well, um, right now, the information I have is um, uh, virtually scanty, but uh, the information at our disposal is that. Um, uh, this whole exercise was, um, we are on the same page, if you like, with the EFCC in this matter, because as you know, we are basically, basically or barely, you know, 40 to 50 days uh, about that in, in the office. And um, uh, the whole exercise, I think, is, um, it has to do with transparency. It has to do um, with, um, you know, obeying laid down financial instructions. And um, there are some infractions that uh, are noticed by the ESCC or any other investigation agency for that matter. But um, it is welcome because um, it has really nothing to do with the uh, subsisting or existing government. It has all to do with the activities of um, the previous government and i can tell you we are on the same page with the efcc uh, in this regard aren't you worried in any way that this might affect government operations and that's the bochi state government's operations as you need funds um, to of course provide um, the needed development for the people of bochi state <clears throat> well um, let me let me say this uh, from the onset, when um, 24 or 48 hours before uh, Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad took over power, um, we noticed that an attempt was being made to actually uh, siphon, is the word, 11.4 billion naira by the previous um, government. And in, in within 11 hours, checks uh, were issued for contracts that were not um, conducted with due diligence, even when the money um, was not on ground. So uh, the governor complained. PC intervened by uh, ensuring that that amount was blocked. It was warehoused. And as we speak, the governor is um, executing projects that are life-touching uh, road projects throughout the state. And um, uh, I can assure you that um, we are on the same page with the EFCC, and these monies are safe. And the state government is confident that um, this is just a normal investigative right. process. And um, it wouldn't take the long, drawn-out court process to 
to really continue in the project. We'd like to thank you, Mr. Ladin Salihu, uh, media advisor to the Boshi State Governor, and also thank you uh, for letting us interrupt your Hajj exercise. We'll take a break now, still to come, ahead of the governorship election. The Bayelsa State Governor, he is describing the qualities needed for his successor as he says his shoes will be too big to fill. Find out when we return.